Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we make tech simple and fun. Today in this video, we are tackling a common issue, Wi-Fi coverage over long distances. So have you ever struggled with weak or dead Wi-Fi zones in your home, office, or outdoor spaces? Well, stick around because we've got a robust solution just for you. And if you're eager to optimize your own Wi-Fi setup, I've got some great news. We're offering a free tag consultations for all of our viewers. So simply drop us a message through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will reach out to you. So let's make your tag to the next level together. So today, our robust solution is connecting access point using fiber optic cables. Now we all know how frustrating it is when Wi-Fi signal just don't reach certain parts of your space, whether it's a large home, an office building, or even an outdoor area, traditional Wi-Fi extenders often fall short. And the need for a robust and reliable solution is more critical than ever. So that's where the fiber optic cable come into play. Now by using the fiber optic cables to connect access point is a game changer. Now it allows for extended and reliable Wi-Fi coverage without compromising on speed. And fiber optic technology ensures that your Wi-Fi signal remains strong and fast no matter the distance. But first, let's talk about access points. What exactly are they? Now, an access point is a device that creates a wireless local area network, usually in a large building or outdoor area. It connects to a wire router, a switch, or a hub via an ethernet cable, and projects a Wi-Fi signal to a designated areas. Now, access points are essential for extending Wi-Fi coverage beyond what your main router router can handle, and they work by receiving the wire signal and broadcasting it wirelessly, ensuring that your devices stay connected wherever you are. And you may wonder, why choose fiber optic cables? Now, these cables offer significant advantages over traditional copper cables. Fiber optic cables can cover much longer distances without losing signal quality, and they support much higher data transfer speed. So fiber optic cable is made out of glass. It is a high-speed data transmission medium that uses pulse of lights to carry data, and it can travel through the core of the fiber. Unlike copper cables, which use electrical signals, they might suffer from signal degradation over long distances, and they are susceptible to electromagnetic interference. On the other hand, the fiber optic cables provide a clear, fast, and reliable connection. And here are the advantages that fiber optics offer. Longer distance coverage. Fiber optic cables can transmit data over miles without losing strength. Higher data transfer speed. Now you can enjoy blazing fast internet speed with minimal latency. Reliability. They are less prone to interference and signal degradation compared to copper cables. Last but not least, future proofing. Fiber optics can handle the high bandwidth demands of future technologies. So now we're in front of the demonstration board, and let's get into the installation process. Here's what you need. The router, media converter for the router, fiber optic cables, a pair of SFP modules, PoE power over ethernet media converter for the access point, and the access point itself. Now, each of these components play a crucial role in our setup. The router is your main internet gateway, and fiber optic cable will connect your devices over long distances. The media converters will transfer the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. And the PoE media converter can convert data signal from one type to another while simultaneously providing power to our access point through the Ethernet cable using power over Ethernet technology. 
and the SFE module, the small form factor pluggable modules are used to connect the fiber optic cables to the media converter. And lastly, the SS point will broadcast the Wi-Fi signal. So without saying, let's do it together. So first we're going to connect the media converter to the router using high quality Ethernet cable. CAT5V, CAT6 or higher is preferred to ensure the best performance. And make sure you connect to the correct port on your router. They usually mark as LAN, L-A-N. Let's connect it to our media converter. Next, we have the SFP module. Now, you have to ensure that the SFP module are compatible with both your media converters. And just insert the FF SFP module gently but firmly. They should click into the place without excessive force. And today, we are using this full strength fiber optic cable. Now, before the installation, you should inspect the fiber optic cable for any visible damage or bend that could impair the performance. And I prefer pre-made fiber optic cable because it saves time and ensures reliability, so you don't have to worry about the connector. Now let's choose string A. On each string, it has a ladder on them. Plug it into the SFP module. And make sure you do not bend the fiber optic cable sharply and ensure that the cable end are clean and free from dust before the connecting. Coming over here, this is our PoE media converter. You have to make sure the PoE media converter provides sufficient power for the SS point according to its specification. So we are going to do the same thing. Plug in the SFP module. And plug in the fiber optic cable. Remember, we use string A, which is this one. Slide it in. We are able to hear the click sound. And here we are going to use the fiber optic cable to connect with our SS point. Just plug into it. And we can place the SS point in an optimal location for maximum coverage. Today we are using the ceiling mounting technique. And you should consider the potential obstruction. It can be ceiling mount and wall mount as well. Let's take it out. And it can be powered by DC or PoE. And today we are using the power over Ethernet. Connect it with the SS point. Lock it back in. And now we are going to power on all the device. I'm going to turn on the power supply. And you can watch the indicated light on each device because they can provide valuable information about the status of connection. Now we can see the power light is on. And this PoE media converter has a special mounting tool, so you can mount it on a DIN wheel. Plus, it has the waterproof neck and the gland, so you don't have to worry about the water or dust to get in, because it's IP67 rated. And I'm going to power up our media converter over here. And once power up, you should conduct a thorough test of the network to ensure that the access point are receiving power and data as expected. Now we can see the indicated light is on. So it's receiving both power and data. So now that the setup is completed, let's see it is in action. We're going to run a speed test on the SS point. So let's check out our phone. This is our Wi-Fi setting. I already selected our AP. Let's go back out and run the speed test. Hit start.
Now look at those speeds. With fiber optic cable, there's no signal loss, and you can get constant, high-speed internet across all your APs. So using fiber optic cables to connect to your APs means that you can enjoy seamless Wi-Fi coverage no matter how large or complex your space is. It's fast, reliable, and future-proof. So there you have it folks, a comprehensive guide to connecting SS Point using fiber optic cables. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to Fast Cabling for more tech tips and tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.